Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for joining us. My name is Christina Rawls, and I am the Director of Workforce Development and Social Enterprise at Art with a Heart. Today, I will be sharing the impact of two branches of our organization, Heartworks and Heartwares, and why supporting the growth of our Heartware store is important to our workforce development programs. You may be thinking, wait, Art with a Heart? Haven't you been around for 20 years? Yes, it's true. Art with a Heart was established as a visual arts nonprofit in 2000 and has grown from four art classes a week to 14,000 a year. Heartworks and Heartwares were two initiatives that grew from those core programs. While they are established, my reason for being here today is to put Heartwares on the map so it can be more sustainable and grow, the heart, and grow Heartworks programming. Heartworks is Art with a Heart's workforce development program, which provides a safe and collaborative work environment for opportunity youth ages 14 to 24. Youth learn valuable job readiness and life skills while creating products for Heartwares, Art with a Heart social enterprise retail store. Why, why do we do this? One in five youth aged 16 to 24 lack opportunity in schools and employment in Baltimore City. The average is around 18,000 young people. Our solution is that HeartWorks provides a supportive and safe environment for youth to earn income while they learn valuable job readiness and life skills that prepare them for employment. It also exercises their creative muscle and critical thinking skills. Community partners also collaborate with Art with a Heart to provide needed wraparound services like legal aid, counseling, housing, childcare, and so much more. To share a success story of the program, would love for you to meet Klaus Farrell, our workforce development assistant. He actually graduated from the HeartWorks program in 2018, became an apprentice in the store, and then was hired full-time as our assistant. He says, my time with HeartWorks gave me a set of skills that I can employ and strengthen every day that in itself was the most invaluable step to propel me in a new place of perspective. Today in my position as a full-fledged member of this family and team, I'm able to use each and every lesson to benefit not only our organization, but each individual I come in contact with. Klaus's story is particularly powerful because not only is he a teammate and a youth leader, but also shows how essential growing an employment pipeline is. So the activities that support our mission are providing that structured workforce training, selling products created by the youth, providing a weekly stipend and job review for each participant, and then also selling products not only in the store, but at community and pop-up vending events that celebrate the work of our participants. Our outputs are the products, creating more apprenticeships for HeartWorks graduates, splitting sale proceeds with community partners who help recruit and support youth with services. And then our outcomes and impacts are that 75% of youth that are out of school time age complete HeartWorks and get employed in jobs outside the program or are enrolled in career specific training programs. We also have partnerships with uh, local area employers and also the mayor's office of employment development. The increase in partnerships and youth served when the program expanded from summer to full year in 2015 was also a um, indicator of growth and it continues to grow every year. Returning a new Heartwares customers each year also means an increase in sales and revenue to support HeartWorks programming and partners. Our target market is for HeartWorks is Opportunity Youth, which represents an enormous opportunity for helping to meet the employment needs of regional Baltimore employers. And then our customers are socially conscious customers in the Baltimore area that tend to be middle income and above. And that is a huge number that we can reach. They have disposable income and are looking for brands with social missions and stories like ours. How do we market to both of these groups? Well, actually word of mouth tends to be one of the best strategies for both groups. Collaborating with community partners for recruitment and peer-to-peer -peer recommendations also work very well for our HeartWorks participants. And for our customers, social media and newsletters, hosting events where items can also be sold, and then also one of our biggest focuses for a future initiative is rebranding with more youth stories for a marketing campaign. Our value proposition is that for the customer looking for a unique and meaningful gift, Heartwares provides a variety of artwork handmade by talented and aspiring young people in Baltimore. 
Unlike an online marketplace like Etsy, which has a flooded market and can seem impersonal, customers know that our Heartworks, Heartware's products are high quality and local with a purpose and story behind each piece. With our value chain, we have several units. One is that we have Heartworks training and sessions. Heartworks partners help subsidize the program fees for training and sessions, providing funds for stipends, food, training staff, and supplies. And then Heartware's products are a variety of goods ranging from household items, artwork, jewelry, and special orders. This also includes Heart Kits, which is an initiative we started during the pandemic in 2020. These are do-it-yourself art kits where we assemble supplies for individuals to make their own things at home. And then the cost of goods of these units tend to average around a 50% gross profit margin combined. Heartware's is our distributor. And then goods are also sold at events and conferences. Customers purchase handmade products from Heartwares and both online and brick and mortar or special order custom artwork from us as well. Companies and organizations will custom order multiple products for events or art parties for their staff that require kits. Lots of team building activities. Um, they sometimes come to us to do virtual art parties and in-person art parties where that would happen. When it comes to the social impact for this, we included HeartWorks training and HeartWorks sessions as one unit when it comes to this. So that's why HeartWorks sessions says zero because we're impacting 104 participants in this year alone. Uh, HeartWorks products are, are impacting a customer and then also either the community partner or artist that's impacted by the sales and then heart kits impact a customer. In this year alone, we impacted over 2,000 lives. We hope to reach in 2024 over 11,000. How are we going to do that? Through strategic initiatives like investing in a point of sale system in 2022. Now that we launched an online store in 2020, we need a better inventory and sales management system. With that, we need to have subscriptions. We need a terminal. We need more equipment. So this would be a great investment for us in the next year. In 2023, we wanna invest in increasing our marketing efforts and budget to create better story campaigns, and potentially hire a consultant to help us with that. In 2024, we would like to double, double the number of our program participants through increased fundraising to support stipends and training, increase apprenticeships to help manage store, online fulfillment and programming initiatives. With the point of sales system and an increase in sales through the online store, and hopefully through marketing efforts, we're gonna need more help with fulfilling orders. And that means more jobs for our youth. Heartworks is seeking $63,000 in grant funding to invest in store management software, marketing campaigns, and to create more apprenticeship positions for Heartworks graduates in our store Heartwares. Your investment will enable Art with a Heart to bring in more sales revenue that will positively impact our programming, more than doubling our Heartworks participant numbers from 104 in 2020, to 225 in 2024. With product sales and Heartworks programming alone, over 11,000 lives will be impacted. This is my team. You've already met Klaus. I hope to, that you get to meet Nadia and Klaus and myself in person and Heartwares sometime soon. Thank you again for coming and thank you for your support. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to reach out to me by email or phone. And please check out our shop online at artwithaheart.net slash shop. Thank you again.